and so we are making dinner tonight, um, and we're making we're tacos. making nachos, nachos or tacos. tacos, nachos or tacos, Mexican guys. Night. Yep, it's a Mexican night. So, all right, we're gonna get started. All right, um, mom, we take the beef, and this is mom's recipe. It's like her special recipe. It's so good. It is good. So, anyway, we're excited. No, that's fine. So we're gonna take some beef and get started in the skillet. We've got it frozen. And then, um, do I need to, um, do you warm these, Mom? Uh, yeah, we will. Last. Okay. I have the kids like to cut up the vegetables and stuff. Okay. Alrighty. So, y'all are going to cut up the veggies. Oh, yes. <gasps> it's okay. It it's good. Okay. Let's wash them really good, guys. Come over here. Wash your hands first. Ooh, look at this rock. these big slices for you and then you can use the knife to, to dice it up. Okay, I'll show you how to dice. I'll show you. I just wash my hands too. So. Okay. Alright. Boom. Alright, so we've got the kiddos and to one work. And, one adult. and we're gonna be dicing up the tomatoes. And then we're gonna make rotel also, yeah. and I'm gonna make the rotel in my micro cooker. Um, that'll be really handy. I love these micro cooker pots. I end up using them for all the time for lots of stuff. Yeah, do you want to? Yes. Thanks. Okay. All right, and let's come over here and check on. Mom, mom's gonna be using our skillet, which I love because this comes off. Um, and so if I'm having multiple um, burners going, I can take that off and not have to worry about this being in the way. And then she's gonna use the mix and chop. And she's never used the mix and chop before. So I'm excited for her to use it. It's wonderful. Well, it's frozen. But as it starts thawing out, you just chop it up. You're going to want one of those. So you have enough that I can use for the cheese? Yep. Uh, yeah. It smells so good. There you go. Yep. Models. So how does this go back on here? There you go. Where am I putting this cheese on? Oh, yeah. Where's cut? In the macro cooker. Okay. This right here beside me? Oh, that And then what do we pre-melt this to? Uh, 200? You just do it like the package? Yeah. Okay. So guys, whenever you're in quarantine, and um, you want some Taco Tuesdays. What 
what are you making? Um, this is pretty simple. Um, a lot of good pantry items going on here. Um, and it's fun to get the family involved. You know, you get so bored um, just sitting around. And so it's fun to get everybody involved and get them going. The kids sure like helping in the kitchen. Wes is going to use the, what's this thing called he's got there, Nicole? The, the food chopper. Food chopper. Food chopper. All right, here we go, Wes. Um, yep. I have one of those. I got it 15 years ago when Nicole and got I know it. And it still works. I mean, it's still sharp. Mm -hmm. Yes. Still works just like it was brand new. That's good, bud. I do the other one. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this one. It cooks. Oh, that's good. That's good. And then just stick it all in there. And it cleans itself. Here, get a. Okay, so we're gonna do the chicken and onion salad. Until the lid goes on, you have to, and then go. do it, and I'll sing to you. Uh, Turn it, close that way. it this way. Okay, so now it's locked and loaded and ready to go. So you take the wheel and you toggle it over to heated puree. And then you push the wheel in. And now, guys, we're gonna have some rotel. And just a little bit. That way we're not going to have the chunks of tomato. Ooh. Okay, you, it shows right here what the temperature is and it'll increase as it heats up. So. Very cool. Yes! Alright guys, so the dip is done. <coughs> And look at it just smoking Definitely, and it's yeah. all blended Less. together so you don't have chunks. So for the ones that don't like chunks, it works perfectly. Guys, this works like a dream. Get your veggies. So, anyway. Okay guys, so we have browned the meat and drained it. And now mom is using the can opener, which is a wonderful, wonderful tool to have. Um, to open up the enchilada sauce. Enchilada sauce for tacos. Oh, enchilada sauce for tacos. And then you add that to the meat. These make incredible tacos. Did you go get that pepper? And how long do you cook that? I just cook it until it's hot. All of it's hot, turn into the sauce, and then it's already hot. 